So in this short video we're going to take a little bit of a deviation away from um, the core of photography and using equipment and Lightroom and processing and all that kind of stuff and uh, just going to look at something that's related to photography that we all, that we all do um, on, a, on a regular basis and just how to make things maybe a little bit easier for you. So this is um, you know, Speedlight, we've all got uh, Speedlights I'm sure and lots of other products in our camera bag that use um, batteries of some description. And I guess a lot of us, you, like me, you probably use uh, rechargeable batteries because in the long run it's, it's, uh, it, it is cheaper, obviously, but uh, you know, you're not always just throwing them away and sort of not being too green and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, I have a bit of a trick on how to um, manage your batteries. Until, until quite a while ago, I, I, like many people, I just had a box and it was full of batteries and I used to keep all sorts of stuff in there. And uh, I never really knew what, what was what, and um, batteries just uh, get mixed up. I wasn't too sure what was alive, what was dead, what's part used, and, uh, and it was really quite difficult. Um, so what I started to do is um, I came across a, a product on, um, on the internet. Um, let me move that box out of the way. Just leave it there, be fine. Um, and, and this is this is a product. It's a really small little plastic um, plastic box. Uh, costs um, one pound, two pounds maybe for four, five, six of these boxes, depending on which site you use. You can buy them on uh, Amazon, you can buy them on eBay, you can buy them on a, a host of other uh, websites and they're really useful little um, AA battery holders. And uh, the reason I like them is because uh, you can nice and easily just pop in your uh, batteries and um, it keeps them all together, all four together, because most of our speed lights take four batteries, and most of our products do tend to take four, although there are some really awkward products that take three. I'm not a fan of those. Um, but uh, yeah, it keeps all, keeps all your batteries nicely together in, uh, in one place. And if you're in your camera bag, you can just pick one packet up, um, you can put your old batteries back in the same packet, throw it in your camera bag, and you know they're all together, not sort of drifting off, getting caught underneath padding and all that kind of stuff. But there's another reason I like these packets, um, and that's because. Um, I use them to organize the state of my batteries. So you'll notice I put those in there. I'm gonna put those in there um, and put them all the same way, standing up the same way. And there's a reason I use this brand of battery. Um, it's not because they're better than any other battery. I don't, I don't know whether they are or not. I've not really done that investigation. I'm not overly bothered, if I'm, if I'm quite honest. Um, but uh, I like the, uh, the colors of the battery because they're very distinctive. You've got a green on the bottom and a copper colored top. Um, and, it, and it, makes it, it makes it easier in these packets for my system. Um, and what that means is that uh, when I put the batteries in, I line them up the same way. And that means to me that when I see a packet of batteries, with them all lined up the same way, these batteries are absolutely good to go. And I can just pull them out of the bag without even thinking about it, or stick them on a speed light, and I know my speed light's gonna work, and it's gonna work consistently, and it's gonna work as I expect it with a nice fresh air of batteries. If I then, um, Put the batteries, take the batteries out of speed light and put them back in, in the packet. And uh, let's say I use my speed light for 15 minutes, didn't use it for long. Um, I will turn one battery over. And when I turn one battery over, what that means is that um, for me, that means that these, these batteries have been used. Now I'm not going to know how long they've been used for, um, I'm not going to know the exact discharge on the batteries or anything like that. Um, but I just know it's just like a warning to me that I will use these batteries knowing that. They have been used before. The, the charge time on the on the speed light may not be as, as good as it would be on a, on a nice fresh set of batteries, um, and it's just a bit of an indicator for me. However, if I use them again, or if I use a set of batteries right to the end when they're really struggling, or when they're actually maybe dead, then what I do then is I turn over two batteries. So I've got two up and two down, and uh, when I then see my back, this this packet in my camera bag, you, before I even touch it, before I even pick it up, I know these batteries are dead. And these need recharging. It also helps when you get back uh, back back from a shoot, and uh, you open your camera bag and you just pull out the batteries that, that need recharging, stick them in your charger, and uh, and you're done. So it, it just it's just a little trick that I use just to help me um, be a bit more efficient when I'm when I'm out and about, um, not wasting time putting batteries in that then I have to charge three or four minutes later because I thought they were good and they're not. And uh, you know I've got a few other packets here, and instantly I can see in these packets that you know these packets I'm just, I'm just putting there. Need recharging. These ones are good. These ones are good. Those need recharging, and they're good. So really quickly, I know that I've got six, I've got five packets here. Two, three sets need recharging. Sorry, two sets need recharging. Three sets are good to go. So it's just a really 
nice little trick that um, I recommend for everybody. Um, so I say it's not your traditional photography um, video this time, but uh, just a little trick um, to help you uh, organize your, your batteries. If you like the videos that we're doing, please do subscribe. There's a little button down there somewhere um, on the, on the, on the right-hand side of the screen that allows you to, to subscribe and notify you of any new videos that we do and uh, allow you to keep in, in touch with us and uh, sort of keep updated. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.